Hello and welcome back to Wrong Mar. In today's maths lesson we're taking one last look at negative numbers. Our waltz for today is to solve money word problems that include negative numbers. So here's the situation. It's a lovely day out and I've popped down to the cafe to pick up a coffee and a cupcake. I give the cashier my card to pay but something unusual happens. It's declined. The cashier tells me that there's insufficient funds. How is this possible? Well, let's have a look at my bank account. Uh-oh. Looks like I've been treating myself a little bit too much to a black coffee and a cupcake over the last little while. My balance has a negative number. How is that even possible? How can you have minus money? Well, you see, when I opened up my account with the bank, well, when I opened my account with the bank, they added on something called an overdraft. This means that the bank will let me use a little bit more money than I actually have, as long as I pay it back in time. People often arrange to have overdrafts with their bank to give them a little bit more flexibility in case something comes up that they have to pay for. However, when you enter your overdraft, the amount counts back in negative numbers. This shows you how much money you owe the bank. So I owe the bank 14 euro from all those coffees and cupcakes that I've been buying. Let's have a look at a few more bank accounts and see if we can figure out what the balance is or the amount of money that we owe the bank. Take a look at this one. You see that we started out the week with a balance of 10 euro, the green number. Then we bought some cake and some coffee for 12 euro. So what is our new balance? Well, we spent more money than we actually had, so our new balance is going to be a negative number. We owe the bank some money. We started on 10, and we count back 12 jumps, and we land on minus 2. So our balance is minus 2 euro. We owe the bank 2 euro. Try this one by yourself. Our balance at the start of the week was 8 euro. Then we bought cake and coffee for 12 euro. What's our new balance? Pause the video and give it a try. Well, using the number line, we started on 8, we went back 12 places, and we land on minus 4. So our new balance is minus 4 euro. We owe the bank 4 euro. Let's try one more of those ones. Our balance at the start of the week was 2 euro. We bought cake and coffee for 12 euro. So what is our new balance? Pause the video and write down your answer. So we started the week on 2, we jumped back 12 spaces, and we land on minus 10. So our new balance is minus 10 euro. We owe the bank 10 euro. So now that you understand what's going on, let's try it with slightly bigger numbers. Take a look at my new bank account for the end of the month. I started out the month with 25 euro, but I bought an awful lot of black coffees throughout the month, 15. They cost me 30 euro, which is more than I had. So what's our new balance? How much do I owe the bank? Well, there's two different ways of solving this. First, we can use the number line like we have been so far. This is by far the easiest way of doing it. So we started on 25, we jump back 30 spaces, and land on minus 5. Now you can see here, first I jumped back 25 to get to 0, then I jumped back the 5 that were left over. So our new balance is minus 5. Now there is a second way of solving these ones. It is quicker and easier, but you really have to understand positive and negative numbers really well. Otherwise you're going to get confused. For this way, we can use a sum. We say 30 minus 25 to find out what the difference between our two numbers is. And we get 5. Now here's where you really have to pay attention. At the moment, if we leave it like this, that's plus 5. That means that we still have 5 euro left. But if you look at the bank account, you know that's not true. So this should be a minus 5. It's this extra little step that makes these ones a bit tricky to write out sometimes. So if you're not sure, 
keep using the number line. Okay, let's try one by ourselves. Here's a new bank account. Our balance at the start of the month was 75 euro and we spent 96 euro in Toys or Fun. Using one of the two ways, or your own way if you have one, can you find out what the new balance should be? Pause the video and give it a try. Well, if you use the number line method, this is what you should have. We had 75, we jumped back 96 spaces, and we landed on minus 21. So our new balance is minus 21 euro. We owe the bank 21 euro. If you use the second method, the written method, you should have something that looks like this. Again, the difference between 96 and 75 is 21. So, we owe the bank 21 euro. Minus 21 is our balance. Let's try one last one before you go off and practice by yourself. Glass bank account. Our balance was 154 euro. We spent 220 euro on a lifetime Rongmar subscription. And let me tell you, it was worth every penny. What is our new balance? Pause the video and use a method to solve. So if you used the number line method, you should have something that looks like this. We started on 154. We jumped back 220 spaces and we landed on minus 66. So our balance is minus 66 euro. We owe the bank 66 euro. If you went for the written method, you should have something like this. The difference between 220 and 154 is 66, but we know that that is a minus 66 because we owe the bank it. So our balance again is minus 66. Now, as you can imagine, going into negative money is not a good thing. You really should try to avoid it wherever possible. Because if you go into negative, the bank will come looking for its money. This is a loan, not a freebie. So when you're older and your account is low, think to yourself, do I really need those 15 coffees? So our wall for today was to be able to solve money word problems, including negative numbers. Can you do that now? If you can, great, you're ready to go on to some practice activities down below. If not, have another look at the video, slow it down and pause it in the places where you got a bit confused. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.